G'day, my name's Darrell Webb. Today we're going to have a look at ultralight titanium cookware. Let's get into it. The stats for titanium are it's a high melting temperature, like steel. Um, it's about 50% of the weight of steel, about half as light. And in comparison it to aluminium, it's about twice the weight of aluminium, but it's several times stronger. So they can make this very thin and still has a medium amount of strength in comparison to aluminium. So when you actually do all that research, titanium seems like a really good option if you're cooking on fire places where you're going to have high temperatures and that. Um, but what I found that it doesn't actually talk about, and it's an important stat, especially for as a frying pan, is it doesn't conduct heat very well. So I've sort of found that when I'm cooking with it, if you were to put a flame under here, here would be very hot, obviously. But you could put your finger down there and it's nearly cold. So it doesn't conduct heat very well. And that makes a it makes it awkward to cook on, so you sort of need to find a heat source that covers the whole bottom at once. Now, the other thing that I've sort of found about the titanium is I think it's just because of its thinness. Now, we've all probably got somewhere a cheap aluminium pan or stainless steel pan that's super thin and you sort of end up not using it because it scorches food really easy because it's so thin. Um, titanium to be light compared to say aluminium because it's about twice as heavy as aluminium they got to make it super super thin so think of that thin aluminium or steel pan and how it scorches your food quite easy and then double it because this will be literally half as thin again so we're saying that there are ways around it you can cook with a, a bit more olive oil um, and start you gotta watch out, you know, deep frying things, but a little bit more olive oil so the oil actually conducts the heat. And you can use, as I said, flames that actually cover the whole bottom of it instead of just a little hot spot. If you want to cook on something like a little BRS or a little jet boil type, you know, a little flame that stabs up hard in one spot, this is not good cookware. I'd um, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this. So where does it sort of fit in with? Is it usable or not? You can use it. As I said, put a bit of extra olive oil in it, and I try to find a suitable cooking source. Um, the little Esbet style um, solid fuel tabs, they work good for these. The flame sort of, it's a lazy flame that flares out. And um, if you do want to cook over a fire, I find that elevated a bit over coals. Don't try and cook over flames, it's just, it burns everything straight away. If you can elevate it a little bit, just even by having a couple of pieces of green wood in there just to take it up, you know, a couple of inches off the off the coals and also you get a much more even heat source and, and and it is and it is usable would i recommend this to someone just who was after something for lightweight i'd actually say for myself now if i was buying again i'd i'd say no i um i'd look at some of the, the lightweight aluminium offerings instead this weighs 165 grams this one with handles and why well, it's very light um there are other options um, I've seen Cedar Summit make their Alpha series aluminium pans and they're quite often non-stick as well um, and they'll be under 250 grams for the same size um, whilst they're a bit more expensive um, they'd make a better product because the aluminium is just a lot thicker so give you a better cooking experience in conclusion I wouldn't recommend the titanium cookware I've found personally that uh, ultra thin aluminium while not as strong for boiling water and, um, and, and even frying up in a fry pan thing, um, the weight saving is actually not really there sometimes. In some cases, a small aluminium pot is actually lighter than a small titanium pot. And if you just want to boil water, then lightweight's lightweight. Um, the little thin titanium cups, they're good, they're strong and they can handle heat. You know, if you want to stick them in a fire with no water in them or things like that, they might be the better choice. That's for you to work out. I personally will keep using this because I own it now and it's no worth, not worth chucking it away. Um, it's just a shame that you have to pay a bit more attention to uh, when, you're, when you're cooking with them a little bit of oil and, and, and watch to not try and scorch your food. So anyway, that's the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this channel, things like fishing, camping and whatnot, then um, hit the subscribe button and um, we'll see you again soon. Bye.